The Mary Rose Museum is steeped in Tudor history and owes much to King Henry VIII who commissioned the building of the ship over 500 years ago. And so to celebrate this half term the museum invites you to help make a portrait of the King brick by brick. Well, Mary Rose is all about Tudor. It's all about life in Tudor times, all the sights and sounds and smells of life on board. And this week, we're focusing on Henry VIII, who spent his first pay packet on uh, Mary Rose. And we're building a, a huge Lego portrait of him. So it's made out of one-by-one one Lego bricks and creating a massive mosaic. Who doesn't love Lego? So we're getting people of all ages coming in to actually come and build with us. So from about 80 down to 3. And um, you're seeing Lego addicts of all, uh, all ages coming along, helping us to build up the picture of Henry. To complete a huge task such as this, the museum needed help from a master builder, who came in the form of the country's leading Lego certified professional. Well, that's right. We're working with Bright Bricks, who are the premier Lego builders in the whole of the country. And luckily for us, they're based in Hampshire in Borden. So it's a great partnership. We've really enjoyed working with them. And we're planning to do another mosaic, which will be the biggest one by one mosaic ever built in the UK over the summer holidays. A couple of years ago we broke a world record for the largest uh, Lego model ever built. We built a tower bridge for the launch of the new Discovery vehicle and that contained 5.8 and a bit million bricks. I can't remember the number of the bit but yes there was a lot of bricks. It took six months to build with 25 builders. So really you guys were the obvious choice to help out with something on this scale? Yeah we do large and small projects. So a project like this is great to do because you see the public come and enjoy it as well. It's not a much biggest project but it's still good fun. I think with a Lego brick you are, your creativity there is what's in your imagination. You can build almost anything with Lego bricks and um, for here we're doing a giant mosaic but you can do 3D sculptures, mosaics and almost anything you can think of. It's the first time I've been down to the museum myself but I remember watching it being raised out of sea back in 82 before I went to school. I imagine all the hype and excitement of it being raised out of sea so it's great to come out and see it and be involved with the project there to help more visitors come and appreciate what the ship was and what it meant to Henry VIII. It's great. There are still plenty of bricks to be placed, but thoughts are already turning to the next big project. Uh, once completed over this weekend, it's going to be put up for display in the front of the museum so people can come and see the uh, mosaic um, in its completion. It's absolutely massive. It's four metres by two metres. So we're looking to, to actually display it in the museum once it's done because it's really, really stunning. But yeah, it's a huge endeavour, actually. So we need you all to come out and help us with building it. But you'll find as we get closer to the end, we've got to finish Sunday, so you may even get a couple of cheeky little free squares there. <laughs> I think with the museum it'll be a good working relationship. We've planned to do another one in the summer, as this one's gone really well for them here, so we're looking at a bigger mosaic in the summer with even more bricks in it. And you say even more bricks, so how many bricks are involved in this one? I think in this one there's approximately 131,000 one by one bricks. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, you do get sore thumbs if you're doing the lot all at once. <laughs> it's going to finish on Sunday late afternoon. So uh, you've got plenty of time to come over the weekend and during the rest of half term we'd love to see you. And you can also see the fantastic Tudor immersive experience at Mary Rose Museum. It's like uh, during this week we're at Kids Go Free at Mary Rose as well. So it's cheaper to come in to see the, the award winning experience and you can also spend that money then on doing some Lego. Richard Stringer, That's TV.